Hey everybody, uh, welcome to James Plays Final Fantasy, so you don't have to. Um, on our last episode, we uh, ran around in a cave that we had to be super small to get into. Um, and then we found a dragon eye being guarded by a talking giant rat. And then we brought it back to the dragon, and the dragon was super happy about that. So he let us sail by in our, our brand new sailing ship. Um, now we seem to be pointed in the direction of the village of the ancients, uh, who are supposed to be, uh, well, ancients, whatever that means in this game. Um, they're also supposed to be able to tell the future, so we'll see how that goes. What? Why? Why is that even a thing you can do? Okay. Gotcha. That seems pretty straightforward. Alright, let's see what you got here. A serpent sword. Oh, damn, everything just got, like, hella expensive. That's bollocks. Damn, because I would really like to buy these as well. Mm. Um, let me hold on on that uh, for a second. So I really know what else is available in the town. Oh, apparently I can't go this way. What do you say? Uh, well, it did kind of look that way when I walked over to the edge. Oh, who's Owen? I guess he must be the person that built the tower. That only makes sense. Um, the other thing that the dragon mentioned is that there was some sort of imbalance and the light was gone from the water, which we're clearly seeing as like the water springs don't work anymore, um, which is a total bummer because uh, they're free healing. Oh. Okay. Ah, those arrogant, shitty people. Um, you know, for people that can see into the future, you seem to be not very good at realizing that we're obviously the warriors of light. Oh, fucking, really? This is a spell? I don't like that one bit. Um, that is going to be useful. This is a complete waste of money because eye drops are like a hundred dollars or a hundred gil. Um, I guess I'll get this, but I really wish I didn't have to. I mean, I realize that they've made an item that displays a detailed map, but... Oh, well... I don't really know what that means, but uh, good to know. Yep, we did see Kokobos, thank you. Let's see what your armor shop is like. So we've got shell armor. Uh, and flame mail. Got the headband, the Kempo Gi. And mage robes. Mage robes, I feel like, are going to be a definite must. Doesn't leave me enough for the shell armor, but I can buy another one. 
I'm, I'm a little bit saddened to see that they didn't throw an equip uh, screen in the uh, armor menu. I, I think that's an incredibly uh, useful and oft times overlooked uh, feature in RPGs. Um, just the ability to uh, equip from a store screen uh, so you're not having to flip back and forth through mem menus each time you want to like change a piece of equipment or you know do something. Um, and it, it seems like they did not. It's not a very common thing, in, especially in Final Fantasy games, uh, but it is always nice to see when they do do it. Uh, because it's literally just a really short, easy way to save time. Um, yeah. Um, I don't... Obviously want to keep the fire staff. Um, I don't think I'll need these shields. I want to keep the gi. I can probably drop the mithril armor. Um... Let's see what else. I don't need another copy of Sleep, I don't think. I'm probably going to regret getting rid of that. I'll keep the Sonic Knuckles just in case. Probably don't need these bracers. Okay. Cool. So that clears out my inventory a little bit. Um, I definitely want to be more careful about uh, throwing away or selling items in this game than in previous games, just for the simple uh, fact that since I... Uh, in theory, we're going to be switching uh, classes. Um, I don't want to have an instance where I switch into a class that I don't have equipment for. Um, so I, I do definitely want to be careful with that. Okay, so we're going to give you teleport. I'm going to give you sight. Cool. Um, yeah, and that leaves us with not enough gil to really do anything. Um, but hopefully that won't be a big deal. Um, the monsters that I've fought so far haven't been particularly difficult. Um, I feel like I'm kind of missing something about this area, though. As our rule commands. Okay. Hmm. Spendy in. Um, okay, lots of nice stuff here. High potions for the first time. That's exciting. Uh, darn. I was kind of hoping that there was going to be like a story event or something for this area. Uh, but it kind of doesn't look like there is. Need new mail. Nope. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, so we saw the floating tree, but we can't do anything with it as far as I know. Um, so I guess I'm just going to wander for a bit until I see something that looks, I don't know, like I should be doing something with it. Um, obviously we're going to be using the speed up. Oh, these guys might be a little bit too hard for me. Maybe not though. Um, we're going to be using the speed up function to sort of just tear right through this. Um, I like to try and make these uh, videos with minimal uh, actual after recording edits as possible. Um, so they feel slightly more like a stream and less like a uh, actual like let's play. Uh, antidote. Oh shit! A pan pander demon. Oh, these guys seem tricky. Maybe not. Oh, except they killed the Incas. That's kind of crappy. But oddly enough, they don't give me too much or less uh, XP than anything else. I am beginning to worry that this game has balance issues. Um, okay. Cure, cure. It's really unfortunate that they're making me uh, take up a slot with sight. I, I don't like that at all. Uh, mostly because I'm early enough in the game that like um, 
being able to cast Cure is still a, a useful spell to me. Um, so having to choose between do I look at the map or do I heal my party members, like I'm always going to choose heal my party members, you know. Because ultimately I can wander forever, but, you know, if I lose my party members, game's over. Um, I might have to look at a walkthrough because I'm not really getting anywhere with this. Um, so that might be the trick. I mean, if nothing else, I guess I'm uh, acquiring uh, both experience points and uh, gill this way, which is uh, helpful in any case. These creepy bug monsters. Um, and since I am not a particular fan of grinding, this, uh, this is a nice way of getting around having to grind um, later, hopefully. What's that? You know, another thing that uh, a lot of, or almost actually every, as far as I know, uh, RPG does not have as a feature that I always wish that they did, um, is in the first, at least first two games of the uh, Suikoden uh, franchise, if not the third one as well, I think, um, they have this... Uh, thing where if you queue up uh, a healing action before uh, the battle ends, you just use your healing actions at the end of the battle. Um, so, like, if you had a character that was, like, super hurt, and you were going to heal him in the battle to, to prolong your life, um, you would... Oh, God. That's a new type of demon. That looks shitty. Um, then your characters would just heal up at the end of the battle. Um, instead of forcing you to go once again into that uh, menu screen and, you know, do whatever you were going to do. Um, which I think is really nice. It's a really cool feature. Uh, the Tales series has a similar thing uh, with its uh, cooking system, uh, but it's a little bit different, and obviously it has slightly different effects, but uh, kind of a similar thing, where you can eat food at the end of battles, usually. Um, it's a little bit different in every game, uh, but usually the way it works is you eat food at the end of a battle, um, and then it uh, cures you, or like gives, regains uh, magic points, or uh, gives you like a buff um, to your next battle. This is getting a little bit ridiculous, uh, but I gotta—I mean, I've gotta swing back around the other side of the continent at some point, right? Shouldn't take too long. I feel like I'm getting there. I feel like I'm getting close to swinging back around. Yeah, here we go. Oh, here's the Kokobo Forest. Which means... good. Okay, cool. Well, uh, okay, I'm gonna cut the... or stop recording for a second um, after I rest in this inn. And then we'll see if we can get, can't get ourselves back on track. Okay, <clears throat> so apparently, um, after we visit the uh, village of the ancients, we're supposed to sail up to a, a different landmass. Oh, sea elemental, so that's kind of cool looking. Um, and from there, we uh, continue our adventure. Um, that's the Nepto Temple. Weird sea 
seahorse, literal seahorse. Um, let's, maybe this is the right area. I know this is the Tower of Owen, um, which apparently connects things to other things. And Not untraversable, though, so I'll have to keep that in mind. Um, let's see. It's supposed to be a cave that I'm supposedly going to. <clears throat> Perhaps this was the wrong landmass. Maybe this is the right place. Although not a cave. Castle Argus. This wasn't the other castle that we were in last time. That was Castle. I don't know, something else. Seems, oh, round table, nice. Seems awfully empty, though. That's kind of weird. Water that doesn't do anything. Okay, well, apparently Castle Argus is a big, boring trip. Um, that is a waste of time. I mean, there must be stuff here afterwards uh, once I do something else. Okay, so that's definitely not where we're supposed to be going. Hmm. Ah, there's a cave. Okay, let's uh, save really quick here. I wish they... I wish they had invented tents. Tents are such a nice, useful item to have. I love tents. Maybe they will have tents in this game. Tents are like a full recovery item that you can only use on the map or save points. Oh, Golgan Gulch. Oh, super. I will not forget that. Hey, weird guy with the... Oh. Oh, okay. I thought the people in Ancient Village can see into the future. Maybe I was just confusing them? That seems logical. Power of fire from the island of the dwarves. Okay, okay. I don't really know what that means, though. Ah, yeah, I can see that. The Void in Cap. Oh, okay. Well, that's definitely something we should all avoid then. Rather fond of this world, even, you know, that seems to be out to get me. The Scarred Land. Oh my god. I feel some exposition coming on. Okay. Enter the Tower of Or. Oh, okay. Oh god, they're making us go through this now. <sighs> huh. It's so odd. 
Okay. Oh. Uh, uh, well, okay. All right, the scarred lines. Harbingers, etc. The man who changes destinies will awaken. I have no idea what that means. But I got an ice staff for free. And a major. And a, another fire staff. Well, that wasn't quite what I was hoping for, but uh, it's useful nonetheless. Okay, so now we know that Tower of Owen is definitely the place to go. And we have to use the toad spell to get into it. Um, which I think is funny, because uh, we just got through a section where we had to be, like, mini to get through, and now they're making us do a section with the Toad Spell, and uh, it just seems a little silly. But, do it, we will. Um, so I'm going to save here. Um, and actually, I think I'm going to cut the episode here, uh, even though it was a short one. This is a nice little succinct chunk of the game. Um, and then in our next episode, we will explore the Tower of Owen and hopefully find out what Dash's destiny is and what it has to do with machinery. Uh, so thanks for joining me, and I'll see you around next time.